wire up an op amp, two capacitors and two resistors like this, and you get a 606 style kick drum. Here's how it works. The op amp wants to keep its two inputs equal. So if we raise the non-inverting input, it raises its output to try and compensate. That change is transmitted via the capacitors, lifting the inverting input. But at the same time, current leaks to ground through the center resistor, like air leaking from a tire, forcing the op amp to keep raising its output. Meanwhile, a smaller current starts flowing through the big bridge resistor into the left capacitor. As it charges, the op amp doesn't need to push as hard to keep the balance. Eventually, the slow rise overtakes the leak, forcing the op-amp to reduce its output. Now the same process plays out in reverse, until it flips again, but from a slightly lower point each time. At the output, this creates a decaying sine burst, whose frequency is set by the relation between the leak and bridge resistors. Want to take this further? Our DIY kick drum kit builds on this exact circuit and shows you how to extend the decay, add a pitch envelope, and distort the sine wave for extra grit. You can find it in the Erica Sins webshop.